Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your very first ECMAScript 6 tutorial. <laughs> so, what the hell is ECMAScript? Well, there is a little bit of confusion among some developers as to what it is, but basically ECMAScript is just the result of Microsoft and uh, Netscape banging their heads together many, many moons ago to try and come up with a standard for their scripting languages which they were using. So. Microsoft was using what's known as JScript and uh, Netscape were using JavaScript. So ECMAScript is just a standard for scripting languages. So when you're writing JavaScript, you're actually just writing an implementation of ECMAScript. And uh, the version you're probably writing in at the minute is ECMAScript 5, which is the version that is currently supported in all browsers. So ECMAScript 6 is just the latest standardized version of ES, ECMAScript. And it includes tons of new features, which we are going to dive into in this playlist. And we're going to explore all of those later. But as of yet, it's not fully supported in all browsers. So this is the current state of support in browsers. And uh, you can see there's quite a lot of red blocks floating around. And they're the instances in which a certain feature is not supported in whichever browser it corresponds to or polyfill or server etc so this isn't exactly ideal i mean if you were going to use this in a live project then you're probably going to want to use something called a transpiler which will essentially take your es6 code and transpile it into es5 so that it works in browsers now one transpiler you could use is babel or babel don't know how to pronounce it so i'll leave the link to this website down below you can come and check this out I'm not going to use this in this course. I'm just going to use Google Chrome Canary. Now, this is a kind of a development browser for Google where they test out loads of new features. It's not entirely stable all the time and it sometimes does crash, but I always use it for developing in because it does contain all the kind of latest features. So you get a sneak preview of those and it's got good support for ES6. You can see my current browser here, which is Canary. Um, supports a lot of these ES6 features so that's what I'm going to be using in this playlist so I will leave this link down below you can go ahead and download that if you want or you can learn more about Babel or Babel that's up to you for simplicity I think this would be the easiest way to start learning so yeah go ahead and download that I am also going to be using brackets as my text editor uh, I thought I'd tell you guys here that because a lot of people always ask me which text editor I'm using so it's brackets for this tutorial playlist uh, it's free and uh, it's pretty cool. So yeah, go ahead and download that. I'll leave the link down below. And one final thing, guys. This is not going to be an extensive JavaScript tutorial playlist. I'm not going to go into all the core JavaScript essentials. Uh, this is just going to be the new features available in ES6. So you probably should know some JavaScript to begin with before you kind of dive into this playlist. If you don't know any JavaScript, then I've got a course up here called JavaScript for Beginners. So I'll leave the link to that down below. So you can go ahead Check that out first and then come back to this. So otherwise, guys, um, I hope you enjoy this playlist and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.